Honestly, it was um, something that just happened over time. I felt like, honestly, um, if I had to do it and, you know, move on with my career, it definitely had to be now. But, you know, I definitely believe in the plans that God has for my life and what he told me to move in his time. You know, that's the best explanation I can give you. He told me that it's time to move, so that's what I'm doing and being obedient to what I feel like he's telling me to do. There's a lot. I mean, you know, anger, happiness, you know, a lot of different emotions just for the sole fact that we didn't come out with the win. But, you know, I'm I'm happy with everything that I've done here at this university. I have no regrets. I love every single one of those guys that's in that, that locker room. Well, I would hope I left, you know, the right way to lead, you know, for sure. Um, I did everything in my power, you know, with, regardless of what position it was, you know, anybody who needed help with anything on, off the field, regardless, just being a true leader, never hanging my head, always coming to work every single day. And, you know, that was, that's something I took pride in each and every day, knowing that they looked up to me to always be that, even if they were having a down day or having a bad day, regardless of what it was, just seeing me and always knowing that. I can get through this. I gotta be a man today. I gotta do what I gotta do. Come out here and work and let everything take care of itself. I mean, I think a foundation we left is because we all came in, and when we were freshmen, we were playing right away. And up and all the way to this point, we did everything that we could do. You know, we made a name for ourselves and left a print on this university. So for them to see, you know, us being when we were young and then coming up and doing what we did, you know, up until this point, they can see that they can do that too. They can learn as we win. They, they can make some mistakes and learn from that and grow just how we did. So all in all, just being able to understand that, you know, it ain't going to stop just because you're young. Time is going to keep going. You got to keep better, getting better, and you got to keep growing. never take this game for granted. Um, it was a point in time in my life where I did. After my freshman year, having such an amazing year, I always thought this game was going to be here. I always thought I was just going to be great at it, you know, regardless of what it was. But after I got hurt, it put a lot of things in perspective to me, for me, because this game isn't going to be here forever. But at the same time, being able to understand we're blessed to have this opportunity to be able to come out here every day, even just to wake up each and every day so just making the most of that, and that's something Coach Elliott has always emphasized. But that's one thing that I would say, just never take this game for granted because a lot of the lessons that I learned in my life have come from this game. You know, so never taking this game for granted is the biggest thing. Um, I mean, I just think I always remember those times in the locker room after the game. Um, just, you know, just knowing that we won against them, being a rivalry. But, I mean, just those guys that I've been with since the beginning, Aaron Winchester, you know, Chase, Middleton, Martarius Allen, those guys that I came in with, and then just being able to consistently do that over the years and, just growing with each other, that's what I always remember. Just those times in the locker room, seeing each other's smile on each other's faces and, you know, that's all. The next step is, you know, definitely preparing 
for the NFL, seeing what, you know, the road brings for that. But honestly, for me, it's that's all God told me to do was move. That's what I'm doing. I'm taking that next step, and the rest is history from there. I keep telling people I don't care whether it's undrafted, get on the team or get cut, never play again, or go third, fourth round, get drafted, play 10 years, Hall of Fame. It doesn't matter to me. The, the time that I spend playing this game, whenever that's over for me, I can put my hands up and say that I don't have any regrets. And, you know, I'm appreciative of everything that this game has done for me. They're going to get somebody who works harder than anybody they've ever seen, a leader who is truly a leader can, and can say that, you know, I will do anything for anybody on my team or that's around me and somebody that's going to hold themselves accountable more than anybody else can. And definitely a winner, definitely a winner. I think just the, the memories and to say that, you know, I was, I've been able to make something of my opportunity, this being my only offer. This is, this is a place that will always be in my heart. They gave me a chance to be able to say that I can move on and, and have an opportunity to play professionally. So, you know, that's something I always take on, the memories and just the opportunity that I was given, you know, and that forever I'll be indebted to this university for that very reason. I mean, they've definitely been helping me all the way. They, you know, they tell me to do what I've been doing, understanding that it's going to take even more hard work consistently each and every time. And that's one thing that they've been able to be good at is mentoring me to understand that, you know, these opportunities are going to come, don't get too high and don't get too low and, you know, get ready for get ready for an amazing future, um, football or even without football, but through this process of getting ready for something amazing. I see them being on top of this conference, honestly. It is so much talent. You know, just within this state, so much talent on this team right now. And, you know, one thing I can say for all the recruits that will come here, they'll visit, they'll see everything. But one thing you'll never be able to deny about this coaching staff is that they're not going to lie to you. They're not going to give you something and throw something in, in, in your face to where you're going to be like, oh, that's, that's what that is. And then, you know, when you get here, it's like a whole different thing. No, they're going to be honest with you. You're going to have to be a man. You're going to have to grow up. But I see a university that's going to propel to being one of the top team, if not the top team, in this conference, you know, and making a push to make that uh, history one day. He has an amazing future. I mean, when he came in, my motto is when you come in, you got to prove yourself. I'm not saying a word to you. I'm not doing anything like that until you prove yourself. You know, and he's always proved himself right when he came in. Seeing how he moves, he has something that you can't teach, and that's just the way he snaps down on his routes and his mentality, things that you can't teach. And, you know, he's willing to learn. And he's, all, he's always been willing to learn. That meant he has an amazing future ahead of him. And, you know, even when we were in one-on-ones in practice and I'm out and he might be in or something, I'm always watching him because I'm trying to pick up on stuff that he does because I'm like, that man is going to be in a, He is an amazing receiver, but he's going to keep getting better and better. And he is, he's unguardable. Nobody's going to be able to guard him, you know, in the near future. But I told him to make myself feel better. I told him he was Prince. And I was king. He was the route prince. I'm the route king uh, over here at Georgia State. But he, he, he definitely might take that over, the way he moves and the way he plays and his mentality. He's going to be an amazing, amazing receiver even more throughout the years.